what I eat during the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, as a fresh nutritionist, as an intuitive eater, as a vegetarian, probably some other labels I can throw in. My what I eat videos are always the one that you request the most and like the most, so I thought I would do a weekend edition of what I eat. So before I get into the video, I do want to mention that I don't eat like this every single weekend. Every weekend is different. I also want to take this opportunity since it's the weekend to say that you don't have to save all of your fun foods, your cheat meals, all of these foods for the weekend. Um, just because it's the weekend doesn't mean that suddenly nothing matters anymore and that you can eat whatever you want. And on the other hand, just because it's the week doesn't mean that you only have to have boring salads and things like that because it's the week and you have to be really strict with your diet. Like I've talked about in my um, cheat meals videos and why I don't like cheat meals, I don't think that this mentality is good. But that being said, I am a little bit more chill and laid back with food during the weekend. Simply because I don't often plan my meals for the weekend, I just wanna relax, so I just kind of eat what I find or that's why I can get some food delivered sometimes. So yeah, that's why my meals may sometimes be a little less balanced during the weekends, but not always. It depends, it really depends. That's just really what I want you to remember is that it just depends. I think it's better to kind of spread out the foods that you really love and like your treat foods throughout the week and not save them for a particular moment like the weekend for instance because this really feeds into this restriction mentality and where you're going to be restricting the entire week so you're not going to be enjoying your food the entire week and then when the weekend comes you think okay this is my chance I have to eat whatever I can because then Monday is going to come back and it's going to be just eating terrible food again so that's really not a mentality that you want it's one that really triggers um, kind of unhealthy eating behaviors and I Again, I want to I want to balance that out by saying that even if I said this it's totally normal during the weekend to also have some moments that you don't necessarily have during the week for instance you know go out um, for some drinks go to the restaurant things like that and that's totally fine as well I'm just saying that there needs to be kind of a balance here um, you know the weekend doesn't have to be the moment where you do all of your fun food things and the week where you do all of your you know healthy on fun foods it should be kind of a balance but also it's okay if you eat a little bit more on the weekends hope this is kind of clear again i'm really trying to prone moderation and balance and the fact that you can eat whatever you want it just has to be kind of mindful and kind of spread out throughout um the, the week and now that all of this ranting is over let's get into the video so I love having brunches on the weekends because I usually wake up much later and it's nice to just have one big meal and then get on with my day. So we decided to make pancakes and now I'm cutting up some avocados to make like an avocado spread for our toast. You know that I'll be there, give me 10 minutes to drive the whole day. Through the nights filled with pain in the cold wind Through the weight on my back and I'm soulless Thinking that I'm hopeless Stay rolling, stay going Adding some salt and pepper to it Mashing it up And that's little bagel things that we had And that is what our brunch looked like So now I'm eating my pancakes with butter and maple syrup, the American way. In France, nobody puts butter on them. I remember one time I went to a restaurant and I had pancakes and they brought it out with a huge scoop of what I thought was vanilla ice cream, but actually it was butter. And since then, I've always put butter on my pancakes. Now I'm having this bread with some cheese bread that's called sambal. It's really good and then adding the avocado mash. Then I had two more pancakes and that was the end. Keep in mind that this is obviously spread out over a long period of time. I think it took me like 45 minutes to one hour um, to eat the brunch.
So for dinner, this wasn't planned, but I guess very realistic. I ended up going to a few friends' house and we had what's called an apéro dînatoire. So basically where we have a bunch of little things that we eat throughout the evening. So we had some cheese, some bread, some pizza, some olives and other vegetables like raw vegetables to so dip in, in sauce lots of chips and we also had dessert like here I am eating this chocolate little dessert thing for breakfast the next day I wasn't hungry at all so I decided to make a huge fruit salad while I waited only like an hour or two for lunch because I woke up super late so I'm eating some raspberries some apricots and some blueberries and my sister had a few of these as well I didn't eat the entire thing by myself For lunch, we decided to make some burgers. So this is like a vegan soy burger. We added some cheese to it. Then I made a salad with olive oil, vinegar, spinach, blueberries, and hazelnuts. That's the final plate. some leftover vegetable lasagna. For a snack, I had some toast with the cheese bread and some leftover avocado. That looked pretty brown, but actually it was still good. And I also had a piece of chocolate and a glass of soy milk. For dinner, I'm making a sort of poke bowl with some brown rice, some avocado again. I don't usually have this much avocado, but I just had some that I needed to eat because look at it, it's already been brown, so. Makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the time. Then I cut up some mangoes. I mean, one mango. I also put some red beans and some chickpeas and some blueberries, some tomatoes, and also some corn. And this is what the final plate looks like. I added some chia seeds and some soy sauce on there, and it was very good. Forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you ones about the And this is the amount that I wasn't hungry for anymore and I left. So that's it for the meals I had during the weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed them. It maybe gave you a few ideas. If you'd like to see more what I eat videos, of course, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. And if there's like different types of videos that you want to see, tell me that as well, of course. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.